Hey, how's it going everybody? Dylan Dow 2000 here, and today I wanted to talk about my most viewed video on YouTube as of right now, which is the Dolphin Emulator 5.0 installing games video, in which I covered how to install Sonic Adventure 2 on Dolphin Emulator, and just certain ways to configure the game as well. There's a lot of that I missed out and left out on accident actually, and trust me, you guys made it very clear in the comments. So, uh... Yeah, I forgot to tell you guys where to get Sonic Adventure 2, so here's where it is. Uh, I'm going to put it in the link in the description below, and it's actually on the previous video as I'm recording this. So if you guys want to go back to that video, definitely go there, and it'll be there. However, I also wanted to make this video to make the point that it's been two years since that video came out, and ever since then, I've been kind of getting way better at making videos. So I really wanted to make another video kind of updating that video as well, just to make it clear that we're making the tutorial video again, but just addressing a lot of the parts that have been missed. Uh, I think you'll get the point once we get started, so why don't we do that? So what you want to do first, once you're on your screen here, the first thing you want to do is, after you've downloaded the file in the description, you'll want to go to the downloads or wherever you saved it. I have it right here, so you're going to right click hit extract files and now one thing that a lot of people were commenting on my previous video is that when I click documents and then I created a folder by hitting dolphin games now the folder doesn't exist now but if I hit ok they'll create a new folder and I didn't explain this well in my last video so if you guys type backward slash and the folder you want to create it should create a new folder where you're trying to save it so Remember that's backward slash and then you just type dolphin game. Alright, so once you've done that, hit OK. I already have it there, so I'm gonna close this for now. Then you're gonna open up Dolphin Emulator. And you normally this wouldn't be here. You just set your directory and it should show up. That's on the previous video, so I suggest you guys go watch that if you don't know how to do it. But it's pretty straightforward. You double click the screen and it'll ask you to set a directory. So you'll go to Dolphin Games and all of the games should that you saved here should be there and you hit open to hit uh, to open the folder and the folder should be there. Alright, so once you've done that, we we'll go to properties by right clicking, hit properties, then you'll want to go to AR codes. Now AR codes should give you two codes, infinite rings and infinite lives. The three extra codes that are here are ones I've added on my own time. I'll put all these codes in the description so it shouldn't matter. Yeah, so you have these codes enabled. And then we hit to gecko codes. Now these codes are already here. I just personally wasn't a huge fan of them so I never enabled any of it and that's why I was using the AR codes instead of the gecko codes so if you have these you can use them I was never just a fan of them you guys can do what you want uh, they if they're not there though you hit download codes from the we RD database and it should give you these codes if not just comment down below and I'll help you out all right and that's the rest of the video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out Hey guys, Dylan Dower 2000 here. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you guys liked it, please hit the like button. And if you guys want to see more videos like gaming on PC, click the link on the left. And if you guys want to see PC tutorials, click the link on the right. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that center circle right there if you're new. Anyways guys, as always, comment down below what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.